Elected Official of the Year. The Honorable John Fasana, former City of Duarte Council Member and Los Angeles County Metro Board Member. Former Duarte Council Member John Fasana has served on the Los Angeles County Metro Board of Directors since the agency's inception in 1993 and has been a titan of the transportation community in Los Angeles for nearly three decades. Mr. Fasana worked to obtain billions of dollars for critically needed multimodal transportation and congestion relief projects and has been a steadfast champion advocating to improve mobility, connectivity, and the transportation system for more than 10 million residents in 88 cities and 140 unincorporated communities in Los Angeles. Congratulations to John Fasana, CTF's elected official of the year. John, you and I go back so many years, it's incredible to think you served on the Metro Board from 1993 until last year, and during that time, you have shown exceptional leadership on so many issues and projects, everything from the Gold Line to the Express Lanes demonstration project on the 10 and the 110, and so many others. You are most deserving of this award. Congratulations, and thank you for your distinguished service. Member Judy Chu, and I want to congratulate the Honorable John Fasana on being recognized as a California Transportation Foundation's elected official of the year. Now, let me say I've known John for nearly 35 years. It's because we got elected to our respective city councils at the same time. That's how I know firsthand that John has been a titan of transportation. As the longest serving member of the LA County Metropolitan Transportation Authority, John has been able to secure billions of dollars for critical multimodal transportation and congestion relief projects throughout LA County. One of his most significant accomplishments came during his tenure as Metro Board Chair when John successfully spearheaded the effort to pass Measure M, which resulted in $860 million annually in perpetuity for transportation improvements in LA County. But what I truly love about John was his commitment to the San Gabriel Valley. As a council member for Duarte, John knew how important it was to ensure that the San Gabriel Valley received equitable funding for transportation. In fact, John was instrumental in creating the Gold Line light rail system, which currently operates from Union Station to Azusa and will eventually extend all the way to Montclair. He's also responsible for helping establish the Alameda Corridor East Construction Authority, one of the busiest rail corridors in the country. And he also deserves credit for advancing the El Monte bus station, the largest bus station west of Chicago, serving more than 20,000 daily passengers. There are many words that can be used to describe John, but the one I find most apt is champion. That's because throughout his long career, John has not only advocated for critical transportation projects, but succeeded in delivering them time and time again. John is a champion in every sense of the word, and it brings me great joy to see that history will forever recognize John Fasana as a champion of transportation for LA County. Congratulations. Congratulations to John Fasana on receiving the California Transportation Foundation Elected Official of the Year Award. This award is very richly deserved for a transportation leader that I have had the pleasure of working with for over 20 years. John is a tireless advocate for the San Gabriel Valley and for Duarte in making sure our region gets its fair share of transportation funding. His leadership has helped hundreds of thousands of San Gabriel Valley residents have affordable, safe, and efficient transportation options to get to work, walk to school, and improve their business deliveries. It's a pleasure to join you all today, and it's even a bigger pleasure and delight to be able to honor someone who's contributed so much to transportation in Los Angeles County. Duarte Council Member, Metro Board Director, John Fasana. You have been such a fierce leader in the San Gabriel Valley for over the last 27 years. Your tenure on the Metro Board was a career in and of itself. 
Your partnership on major projects in the San Gabriel Valley, like our Foothill Gold Line extension and our East Side extension have been instrumental in moving those projects forward. Through your leadership at Metro and the Council of Governments, you have always ensured that the Valley got their fair share of transportation funding. To my dear friend, John Fasana, and my colleague of 31 years on the Duarte City Council, congratulations on getting this award, John. You truly deserve it. You have brought transportation to the forefront in the San Gabriel Valley and throughout the Los Angeles region. Without you, I don't believe the gold line would have happened in the San Gabriel Valley. You also were absolutely instrumental in getting Measure M passed. So my congratulations to you, John. Congratulations, John, on this wonderful, well-deserved, prestigious uh, proclamation award that you're getting. We really appreciate all you've been doing for our San Gabriel Valley. You're a fierce advocate for transportation and for the things that we need. You've been a guiding light in transportation. You've represented the region with passion and commitment. John was the longest serving member of the LA Metro Board. In 1993, he was appointed as the San Gabriel Valley's representative to the Metro Board. And for nearly 30 years, his commitment to mobility and improving transportation in LA County has been exemplary. He served two terms as Metro Board Chair, and during his many years of service, Metro achieved a number of great successes. He helped spearhead our effort to pass Measure M in 2016. He's been a staunch advocate for San Gabriel Valley. He was instrumental in the creation of the goal line. And in 2019, he helped support the allocation of funding so that the goal line would be extended to Montclair. He rallied the troops and got them on board to secure that funding. He also was a big supporter of the El Monte bus station and he advocated for the express lanes program. John has been a champion of so many infrastructure projects over the years and Los Angeles County is lucky to have him. It's been my pleasure and honor to have him on the Metro board. I enjoyed so much serving uh, with him and with him as the chair as well. I would call John one of the titans of transportation over his 30 year career. So I wholeheartedly support the elected official of the year award going to Mr. John Fasana. Congratulations to you, John, and to all the honorees this year. Thank you so much. This is Hillary Norton, chairwoman of the California Transportation Commission. And I am so delighted to honor my friend, mayor and former council member of Duarte, John Fasana. Your leadership as Metro board member, especially on the Metro Express Lanes program that we got to work on for the last 15 years has been just extraordinary. The focus that you had on making the Metro Express Lanes a national model was so important to making sure that we had the business community and the transportation community and the local residents in support. And that is why we have such an extraordinary template to work from with the Metro Express Lanes for all of the managed lanes throughout California. Thank you so much for the opportunity to work together. And it is a pleasure to see you being honored today for a lifetime of extraordinary work. John, it brings me joy to see the California Transportation Foundation is honoring you this year. Throughout my decades of public service, I can confidently say you possessed a rare balance of qualities that made you at once humble and approachable yet highly effective, principled, and fiercely protective of the priorities of the greater region you served. You are a man of bold vision with a deep understanding of the nuances of the very complicated world of transportation finance, planning, and capital project delivery. I truly appreciated the opportunity to work with you over the years for the benefit of the cities and residents of the San Gabriel Valley. I promise we will continue to build on the foundation that you have laid here. Your call to public service was not born out of the desire for notoriety, but a commitment to put the region's interests front and center. Your legacy will live on in the San Gabriel Valley and beyond for generations to come. I commend CTF for celebrating you this year 
and I cannot think of a more worthy honoree. Congratulations and thank you for more than 30 years of effective and impactful leadership. I sincerely hope you are enjoying your well-deserved retirement.